since 2019 or 20. I don't remember the last time I raised baby chicks. You know what? It's the year I got cancer. 2020 was the last time I had this indoors. Just brought it inside. Setting this up. That's a 250 watt heat lamp in the top of a large uh, metal cage. On the sides, I've got metal wire to fill in the gaps there. You can kind of see. I've got it everywhere except for on the front. Generally, the chickens will stay pretty close to the heat lamp and not go outside of that. But one of the things about baby chicks, when they're only a day old, they need heat. What we have here, I'm setting up a heat lamp and it's a couple of feet off of the bottom of this cage. Baby chicks from a day old to about a week old need to be about 95 degrees temperature. For every week old they are, it gets reduced by 5 degrees. So they're second at the end of the second week, they only need it to be 90. At the end of the third week, they only need it to be about 85. At the end of the fourth week, about 80. All you have to do is set your heat lamp up, let it run for a while, take your digital thermometer and in the hottest part, which will be right there where the most light, brightest light's at, turn it on and check. 95 degrees, that's exactly where I need it at. By the time the second or third week rolls around, I will move this in up to the top of the cage, raising it slightly higher We'll make it so that all the baby chicks don't stay right here. I set this up. I put their water and their food pretty much almost right directly underneath the light initially. And then as they get older, I can raise the light up and move the food farther away from where the temperature's at. All the way down, the farther away you get from the light, the cooler it gets. And they'll regulate their temperature by moving in and out of this heat source. So the baby chicks are smart enough to know if they're cold, they go where it's warmer. And when it's hot, they go where it's cooler. When I was raising chicks, it was always like the chicks were already out in the coop by the time that I got around to post some videos on YouTube. And then, you know, things take over. But I'm going to show you how to do both meat and egg chickens start to finish one day old to forever. Well, look what showed up on a Sunday. So I guess I need to get, finish getting this set up. I was actually outside building beehives. Gonna have to excuse the sawdust that's all over me because like I said, I was out there building beehives. I need to get these in. The lady just showed up and said, <laughs> So I guess she heard my tools running. She said, these showed up at the post office and we didn't want to leave them in here. So here we are. Oh. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It actually looks like they might have sent me an extra one. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They sent me two extra ones. There we go. I got to get the water set up, so I'll bring you back in a little bit. When they first show up, two things you want to make sure of is they are eating and drinking and generally staying huddled up. As long as they're eating and drinking and staying huddled up close together under the heat lamp, everything should be just fine. You also want to look at them, make sure their eyes don't have any like pussy looking things around it or think of it like you know the bird crap you get in the corner of your eyes you want to make sure their eyes look fine and the reason why there's no bedding in there is because when chickens are first born 
I prefer to let them run around so I can kind of monitor their poop. Because that can also indicate a sign of there's something medically wrong with them. So I'll put bedding in there in a couple of days. But for right now, I'm going to make sure that they're fine. So they're eating, they're drinking, they're staying mostly huddled up underneath the light. All is good in the chicken world. That's all they need. Need to make sure that the temperature right under the light is about 100 degrees. And then as they get too hot, they'll move outside of the light. But for generally the first couple of days, they'll stay right under the light most of the time. They'll venture out kind of like they are now. But when they get cold, they'll all go back over there. So the cool thing about baby chicks is watching them drink how they tilt their heads way back. Watch. That guy over there. Why is he still doing it? He'll take a drink and then he'll tilts his head way back that's the cutest thing ever the other thing cool about baby chickens when they fall asleep they just fall over <laughs> also I don't like to have bedding down when they're really young because if you notice they're like running around it looks like they're eating stuff off of the floor they are it's dust could be dust mites who knows <laughs> But if you have wood chips in there or something like that for the first few days, they'll just eat it too because they, they just don't know any better. So I took the their box and I cut the side out of it, put the lid back on it. That'll only work for a few days, but they may huddle up in there to sleep. They want some protection. If they feel scared, they'll get inside that box. For the most part, though, they'll literally sleep right where they stand. You can see one right there dozing off. The one that just got pecked. <laughs> They'll also, from like right now, at this age, they are already getting their pecking orders down. They'll fight constantly. They'll peck each other. They establish that pecking order from their moment they come out, practically. And uh, that's pretty much it for baby chicks. Now it's just get them until they're about six weeks old fully feathered so they can go outside Chickens eat a lot. It's been about 24 hours since they showed up. And you can see that their food container is nearly empty. They also drink a lot. So basically, on the second day, or you know, at the beginning of the second day, after their first night, you're going to basically do a head count. Make sure they're all alive. Make sure they all still, eyes look fine. Their poo looks fine. Make sure they're all eating and drinking and staying huddled up. And that's basically all you have to do. On the second day, they're a lot more skittish than the first day. Like the first day, I could just walk up to them and they didn't do anything. But on the second day, they get skittish. When you first walk up, they'll try to run away. Or they'll run back over to that corner. And then they run back up here where it's warm. But yeah. That's pretty much all you have to do for the first six weeks. Keep them fed, keep them watered, keep an eye on them, make sure they don't get sick. And that's it. Anyways, I'll go ahead and update this a little later on. And uh, thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.